Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to do another patch update video. Uh, we recently have a new patch in the game and we are currently on version 2.0.3.8 and uh, there are many new things added into the game. Uh, we got a new commander, we got uh, a new commander that was awoken uh, as well and some KVK changes that uh, sh we should talk about. So starting off with uh, the notice as we're going to see here, uh, we're going to have a new commander, uh, the new commander is going to be called Zea. Uh, fun fact, Zea in Greek is a type of wheat that we make bread of, uh, and uh, she's going to be a commander that is focused around the KVK event. Similar to Darius, which is a commander focused around Glorious Battle, Zea is going to be a commander focused uh, around uh, Kingdom vs Kingdom uh, which is going to be a really nice addition to the game uh, since many people really like the KVK and they are hoping to get uh, the most out of uh, this event so we are going to have a new protection effect in War of the Kingdoms uh, the Lords of Light gift which is going to be again tied with Zea uh, which is going to be the August KVK on 2023 and here we're going to be, we're going to have only a few details, but the more points uh, a kingdom accumulates, uh, we're going to have a, a wheel at the end where we can spend uh, the spins that we're going to have, the draw attempts from the points accumulated, to be able to, uh, to get tokens for Zea. So as we're going to see here on the rules page on the War of Kingdoms. Uh, in this War of the Kingdoms, Lord of Light's Blessing Raffle will be available. The Lord of Light will give Lords draw attempts based on the Kingdom's accumulated points. And Lords from the winning Kingdom will obtain additional draw attempts as well. So, Zea is going to be locked behind the wheel, where we, should, we need to accumulate points as uh, a Kingdom in order to get the free spins uh, to get the Zea tokens and eventually unlock her. If we take a quick look on Zea, she's going to be a Bowman Commander. Uh, she's going to give you total attack increase, uh, casualty rate increase and casualty rate decrease for yourself. Uh, those three stats are really good and they're going to be passive as you're going to see here. Uh, just by having the Commander unlocked, those stats are going to be on your uh, Lord and your uh, attacks and defenses and whatever. Uh, it's going to be a passive stat that's going to be always there. In terms of Awakening, uh, again, she's going to only apply uh, when owned, plus her uh, Awakening skill is going to be tied to War of Kingdoms, so you're going to have an increase in, on Battle Tokens and Bravery Tokens by 30%, and increase the number of diamonds gathered from Diamond Mines by 100%, which is uh, something that is really good, uh, really strong, Especially the battle tokens and the bravery tokens since we got the uh, awakening in the badges We are going to need more bravery tokens and more battle tokens in order to get uh, our badges up to uh, red quality There was a new feature, the Hand of the King uh, We are going to have some alliance notices during the day for people entering or leaving the alliances The alliance or other important situations in cross, or cross kingdom events uh, I didn't really like this one since it clatters a bit the chat, especially if you have people uh, going in and out and for the alliance. Uh, they have the awakening for the commander Uma, uh, which is a long awaited uh, awakening for the Spearman female commander. Uh, we're going to take a brief look on her as well, but I think she really deserves uh, a video on her own. Uh, and last but not least, here. We're going to have an adjusted mechanism in the talent reset for the support dragon lightning. Uh, we also had a mail about it, and we got the recent uh, the reset support dragon talent uh, scroll that we can use to uh, reset, as the scroll suggests, 
the support dragon talents. Last but not least, uh, in the upgrade, in the update, uh, we had a small upgrade in the recruitment pass again, and Commander Patello is now available in the recruitment pass for 200 black diamonds, and you can get uh, 60 tokens by completing completing the whole recruitment pass, and also you can now receive Leila Mormont. Uh, Jamie Lancer and Sinara uh, tokens that are used uh, in their awakening respectively uh, and there are going to be a big amount of uh, tokens, there are going to be 120 tokens uh, for each recruitment pass you can go to max. Uh, 120 tokens is really good value for 200 black diamonds and I don't think there's another way to get uh, that great of a value. Uh, in terms of black diamonds uh, per uh, awakening token. So let's take a look on Uma awakening now and uh, conclude this uh, notice uh, video since we didn't have uh, many things unlocked to check, especially uh, regarding the KVK aspect of the update. So for Uma's four star ability, Viper Secret Order, uh, her four star ability is going to be as follows. 5 seconds after the battle begins, when Uma casts an active army skill, she will inflict the disarm status to an enemy lineup with their death markers for 4 seconds. If there are no lineups with death markers, a random lineup will be targeted. Uh, it's going to trigger up to 2 times into a battle and it has a cooldown of 10 seconds. So, disarmed is a status that applies to the enemy. Uh, which uh, is going to make the normal attacks of the enemy miss their target and uh, if you're wondering about death markers I will show you exactly what they are. So we are now on Arya, one of the first commanders that was uh, awakening in the game and as you're going to see here when Arya uses her active uh, skill uh, attack the enemy target lineup uh, one death marker will be added to the target lineup for every one death marker on the target lineup, area skill damage uh, for that target is going to increase by 20%. So if we go back to Uma, we are going to see that uh, with the addition of uh, her death markers, the damage output of commanders like Arya is going to increase. And uh, of course, uh, since she is a female commander, she goes hand in hand with female synergy. And since her force ability uh, says exactly that uh, when Uma casts her active army skill, you can get her death markets uh, really quick uh, at the start of the battle, uh, especially uh, if you have uh, Salma and Leila uh, re-triggering the active army skill for your female commanders. So, uh, on the first look, it looks really good, especially if you are a Spearman commander and you want to really counter the cavalry formation uh, she seems really good uh, fits only, in my opinion, in the female synergy and of course uh, we, we will have to uh, use her a bit more in order to get the exact uh, damage output uh, of Uma but since she is a free to play commander uh, that she was available in the past uh, you're going to need only elite general tokens in order to awaken here so awakening here uh, up to 4 stars is not going to be that hard or expensive so here we are again on the primary screen for the notice board uh, I want to conclude this video by saying that uh, always new stuff is appreciated and of course when we have new commanders and new commanders awaken plus some additions to uh, favorite events like KVK, uh, they keep the game really fresh and uh, people are eager to play more and more. So this was a really nice patch in my opinion with great additions in the game and uh, I hope we get more of uh, more patches like this uh, since they keep the game uh, alive. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one. And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire